Well, I'm very excited. I'm actually getting the July Caboodle kit out in time. <laughs> As you know, I've been behind a couple of months, but um, I really got inspired when I was doing the um, the cochineal packs <laughs> uh, because this color originated in uh, in the Americas in uh, Mexico, Peru, Bolivia, and then made its way over uh, to the rest of the world. So I was concentrating on like the ladies in Oaxaca and the, and the ladies that are up in the mountains of uh, Peru and Bolivia. They're the ones that really fine-tuned um, those colors. So I thought, wow, I got really inspired about that. And I thought, well, I think we need to do something in July um, that really highlights um, the ladies that um, that contributed to all these artisan type activities that um, you're going to be seeing here. So I struggled with what to call it. Uh, we came up with a lot of clever names, you ladies there in the live. Uh, and to keep it simple, I think I'm just going to call it Latin artisans, just because we're dealing with North America and South America. So, and I think it works. I think it works. I don't know. You can agree, disagree. <laughs> but hey, I get to name it, okay? So I had some of this um, yarn that I had dyed with the cochineal, enough just to put a tiny little sample in here. Also, I have a lot of bits and pieces um, that are leftovers. They're just small pieces that are leftovers from these different fabrics. So I'm gonna put, I don't have it here yet, but just in a little bag, I'm gonna have little pieces, parts of all of those fabrics, just enough for you to make like a little tab or something like that. So that will also be included. I thought this would look really, really cool as a, a spine on a journal. Maybe yes, maybe no, I'm not sure. Could even make some pockets. Um, I decided every year I do some kind of a Frida journal. Well, this is not gonna be a Frida journal, but I did have this napkin, so I'm including her. And then I also had this napkin that has sort of like the tile from Mexico. So including that. And to give they, you know, they have the holidays there and they have these skulls and stuff. They're all really decorated. I had some fabric with some of those. So each will get one of those. Thought of the different fabrics that they use. And they really use a lot from the alpacas. So I had some of these, the yamas. I mean, kind of sort of the same. I know they're not, but they're kind of sort of. So I put that there. And, uh. And then some cactus because that's where the cochineal lives on the cactus. And then just some cool fabrics that uh, replicate the, the weeds on um, a lot of the fabrics in those areas. Diego Rivera, one of my favorite artists. Some photographs, I mean um, some um, paintings that he did. Um, some tags here with different types of cactus, a rendition, like a 15th century rendition of harvesting the bugs from the, um, from the cactus. Same thing on this one here. And showing the various colors that you could achieve through the cochineal. Another Diego Rivera. And some cool things. You can make some postcards from Mexico. In here, there are some of the silver uh, milagros that are used a lot um, during um, certain festivals in Mexico. And then here, are these little um, foamy things are, are some things that we made some stamps um, when we did the Oaxaca one. And... We just glued them onto some cardboard and used them as stamps, and then we colored and did some cool stuff with them. So there's, there'll be a couple of those in there, and some of the pieces of uh, silver charms. There'll be at least about four or five of those in there. These are some cards that I made 
a couple of years ago. So I just made some copies of these and printed them out and that will be included. These are some kind of cool pictures of different ladies from either Mexico, Peru, or Bolivia wearing the, the colors that we're talking about and the uh, fabrics that are woven from um, the, the, uh, the yarn that is um, dyed with the, the cochineal. And then um, here is another uh, picture by Diego and she has her cochineal and her purple on the bottom, pink on the top, purple on the bottom. Very cool. Ladies selling their goods on the open markets. Now these colors here reflect the three basic colors that I got um, from the modifying of my of my cochineal which was like the purple, um, the pink, and the orange. So there's two each of those. These are not dyed with the dye. They just replicate the colors of the dye. These are Amy's papers. So you're going to get two of each of those colors. And here, again, the cactus. You see the theme here, right? <laughs> Uh-oh, cactus. I love the tile work in Mexico and in South America, so I had to include that. You can use this in a variety of ways. Um, also make some cute little charms if you cut those all out. And some tabs. Lots of things. Um, some different old writings in um, Spanish to depict, you know, Latin America. And some cool colors, more flowers, tile work. And then I uh, remember a few years ago, I had that roller that did designs. So I did use, this is the die, and I just thickened it up with some starch and did some rolling on here. And so one of these has uh, the purple die. These all came from the cochineal. Purple die one, the one that I modified into orange. And then the one that, what I call more like the magenta, pinky color. And then a file folder, because you know, I like to make all kinds of goodies with the file folders. So all of these goodies will be in the kit. And, uh-oh, where is that? Let me, <laughs> hold on, hold everything. And then there, another piece of fabric comes with it. As long as I have a letter here that you ask for, when you make the purchase, send me a message in Etsy, because I won't be looking all over the place for it. You also get one of these fabrics, and, I hope, and my camera does not like this. It starts going crazy, so it'll be kind of sort of quick. This is A. It's one of those skulls. This is B. And this is C. I think I only have very few, maybe two left of C. So in send a message along with if you purchase the July kit, put in there if you want A, B, or C, and in what order, because I may not have the one you're asking for. If you don't specify what you want, well, you're just going to get whatever I give you. <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to have fun. They're in the shop. And, yeah, they're there. So all I can say is, adios. <laughs>